Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a little get ready with me for date party for my sorority, Alpha Phi. I just wanted to like give you guys kind of like a little life update and just like talk to you guys. I didn't ask for any questions or anything, but I'm just gonna kind of talk about like what's been going on with school and everything right now in my life and just having like a little like you know FaceTime call with you guys while I get ready. I just did my hair, it's still drying a little bit, so we'll touch her up and fluff it at the end. But hair is done. We do need to do our makeup. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of different pieces from Sheen. This video is not sponsored by Sheen. But I do want to show you guys like a bunch of stuff that I got because I've been getting so much clothes lately It's like kind of an addiction. I'm not gonna lie And I just want to show you guys some of the pieces because I have two dress options for today I think I know which one I'm gonna wear but I just want to like show you guys both of them And the other one I'm gonna wear to my fusion date party where maybe I'll either do that as a vlog or I'll do another get ready with me We'll see but I'm excited for this But I want to show you guys a couple of pieces right now before we actually start to get ready so, Yeah, let's get into it first before we start with any of the clothes this purse that I got which I've already worn the other night so cute it's gonna be my purse for today but this is from sheen like i said everything's from sheen guys isn't she just gorgeous simple and i did spill something got spilled on her and it's still looking great it's kind of like that like leather type of material okay so this is the first outfit that i kind of put together so this really cute like burgundy tube top and then this cute little mini skirt which i love this it also has shorts underneath which is like perfect especially if you're going out or just like in general because I personally just like don't like wearing skirts that don't have shorts underneath them. Personal preference, that's just me. But it's super cute, it's not too short either. It's really nice, I like how this top has like the little slit here. Gives it a cute little nice shape body to it. So yeah, this is the first outfit and I really love it. Pairing along with this skirt, once again, I'm gonna wear it the next couple of outfits, is this cute little jersey. I wore this on game day, and this is like oversized, so this is how it like fits. and long and stuff, but as I like to tuck it, or wear like cute jeans, that's what I did, and so I paired it, I tucked it in my bra on the back, like tucked it in, but it's super cute, super breathable, and it's like my number one thing when it comes to any type of clothing article that I buy recently, is making sure it's nice and breathable, but it's super cute, oversized, and definitely cute college and they come in different colors but i just got the plain black and white for my school's colors because it has black in it so yeah this is the cute little jersey so this really cute top is such a sleigh i've worn it before but when i did wear it, i did wear it with jeans i feel like it's more like a jean type of top like tight thing but it has this really big slit on the side it is longer but i folded this part in just to make it like a double line so it's not see-through it's how i wore it the time i wore it and it's just Oh, cute. I love that it's striped and it's just such a cute little vibe. Next shirt, every time I put it on, it always confuses me, but I do have it in a brown color as well. I'm not gonna put both of them on, but this is kind of like the top. So it kind of just like droops over like this a little bit. It has a full back and everything, but it's super cute and I love it. It's like kind of classy, but it has a little off the shoulder moment. The brown looks so good as well, but it's just a really cute little basic top. I feel like it's like a basic you could have. I would wear like nipple pasties with these. Super very cute and a really cute simple staple that she could wear like honestly during other times of the year so now this i wouldn't probably wear these together but this top is super cute i really like it it has like a little like side slit i've been really liking the side slits if you cannot tell and then this really cute white skirt which also has a little slit right here in the front and it's supposed to be double line i don't see my underwear or anything through it so it's super cute obviously i probably wouldn't wear these two together but it's definitely a cute little vibe i was thinking all these pieces I bought like throughout the last month and it's still been warm so it's been perfect to kind of wear outside or like pair for like this skirt I could pair with like, a yellow top or something for game day like just a super cute little basic skirt that I love and building your basics is so important so here's one of the dress options this would be I'm gonna wear if somewhere else it's super cute I don't want to wear it with my hair down with my hair up and I already style it down so I think I'm gonna go with my other option but this is one of my options this really cute I want to say it's like is it cheetah or leopard one of the two but I I've really been into cheetah and leopard like i don't know what it is i've just been like loving it but obviously it's not tied with the back so it's just so gorgeous to hold her neck so this is why I, if i did wear this i would want my hair up i think i'm gonna style it like that for like my fusion date party maybe like i'll do a silk press and have like a long like curls going down like i think it'd just be really cute but like hair would need to be up for sure with this but i think it's super cute and definitely a really cute option and it's a little short to a cutesy little pleated at the end um but she's super cute now i'm gonna try on the dress that i think I'm actually gonna wear and I have a little leather jacket to go with it too but it's actually pretty warm today so I don't think I'm gonna need the jacket but the jacket is super cute this is the dress that I'm thinking of wearing it's super cute I love the detailing here I just really need like someone to like tie this part in the back but this is kind of like the back and you guys will 
for CC because I'm probably gonna wear this dress. But it's just super cute, super like kind of sexy, you know, kind of vibes. I love the back. Anything back out, chef kiss. But it's super cute and like so I think I'm gonna do like black pairs like what I just showed you guys and then I'm gonna do black like kind of wedge shoes. I think it would be so cute. And it's gonna be the vibe. Let me show you guys my leather jacket. It's kind of hard because this dress is not tied, but it's like a little bomber, but it's just a super cute little like jacket and I love it so much. I'm like holding this like thing together right now, but it's like super cute and it's such a cute little vibe. It's like kind of oversized. I thought mine's like in a medium, I think, but everything else that I wore today is in a small, I think. So, and including all the dresses and everything, but like this is a cute little like cover. I don't think I'm gonna wear it because it's too hot, like I told you just now, and I'm definitely gonna wear it for the fall. Now that I've showed you guys like all my options, plus like my dress options and just some of the cute clothes that I had. Guys, we're gonna now get to the makeup part of this video. Naturally, get ready with me, and I'm so excited. I'm here to tell you guys all the tea on my lately. So, let's get our makeup done. Okay, guys, we are going to go ahead and get ready. Oh, I wanna make a TikTok transition real quick. See, let's see, let's see. Ooh, the sun is, why is the sun right in my face? <laughs> back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. I feel like that'd be cute. Well, there's a lot of things going on in the apartment right now that I cannot control. So, you just have to bear with me today. Let's talk about life, what's going on. So, as you guys know, I just said I'm getting ready for a date party for my sorority. Guys, I've been so obnoxiously busy. Now, granted, I knew what I was taking on when I decided to be in a sorority, be on a dance team, take an exec board position on Fusion, take a smaller position in my sorority. Like, I knew what I was doing and do an internship. You know, like, I just think to myself, why did I do this sometimes? But it has been so fun and so rewarding and I feel like at the end of college I'm gonna be like you know what I even though it's stressful at times I'm so glad I did it because everything in life is so temporary and like this is a concept that I always struggle with understanding that things are not always like, always gonna be bad like you have to have perspective and perspective is everything 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 guys like I could write a book about this shit like I could literally write a book about this because perspective is everything and just realizing that not everything lasts forever and it's gonna be okay no need to like stress about things but nonetheless like it has been a lot I have been so tired lately as we can kind of just like go through like the list of things so the already stuff it's been so much fun we just got a new PC of girls which is oh they're all angels I love them all so much and I feel like for me it's really hard for me to connect sometimes with like well, like I'm very like cool and very I tend to be pretty social and pretty outgoing but to really connect and like you know have like really deep conversations with people sometimes it can be a little difficult but these girls they're absolutely they're, they're just so amazing and I hope they're watching this video and they hear this because they are doing like big little soon but like all of them I just like adore them they're just so sweet and so cute and like you know they're so willing to like be a part of the chapter and like be involved with things like they're like oh when's this like how can I do this and like I love people that are so open to experiences and just like getting to know everybody like everyone is just it's been really good um, bid day i think was the last video or no actually bid day was not the last video you guys saw but bid day was amazing super cute and once again it has been kind of stressful like like i said like on bid day like we were a little stressed out but everything ended up like working out in everyone's favor and things have just like fell into place basically um but like i was saying we have started dtm so if you don't know what dtm is here at towson we have this competition where a sorority and frat will pair up and basically compete against other frats and sororities so <laughs> We got paired up with one of the frats this year. It's been such a fun experience. I've watched DTM all two years that I've been here so far, and this is now my third year, but now I'm finally going to be in DTM, which is so exciting, and I cannot wait. I am one of the choreographers, and it's been such a fun experience. Ooh, I should have not done that because now my face is going to try and, like, sweat this off. Hold on. I need to, like, put my face in a fan. But, yeah, I might have put way too much hold on for that primer. I usually like it, but I don't want to put too much that it doesn't stick to my face. DTM has been so much fun because you guys know like I absolutely I love to dance so much and dancing is really like my passion and my safe space so I really kind of like bring people into that world because obviously they're like not everybody in the sorority dances like it's not a requirement like dance like that's not what we're there for but it's really fun to like teach everybody and kind of see their growth and like their process through everything seeing them evolve like I'm like oh my god wait you guys are doing so great like at first some of them were like no I'm not gonna do this like there's no way you guys are gonna like get me to do this like they're like oh I don't know about dancing and then they 
they get there and they start practicing and then it just becomes more fun and then once they get the moves like they're into it you know so that's been super fun and DTM is this week coming up I'm gonna do like maybe like a homecoming week but I know for a fact that I am not gonna be participating in every activity one and then two I also know that like on DTM I'm definitely gonna like have a video for DTM but I want to do like a behind the scenes but we don't have a lot of footage so I'll try to get some maybe this upcoming week and just do like a homecoming slash like DTM vlog but that you guys will see that video at some point even if I just put it into like a random vlog at some point but I'm definitely excited for that also I am performing on at DTM twice so I'll be performing with my sorority and the frat and then I'll be performing with fusion my dance team so that's gonna be really really exciting as well but definitely check out my socials which will be on the screen and they're always linked down below if you guys are ever trying to find me you can kind of like see all of that so that's that fusion has been so much fun so far we are doing big little as well which we're also doing big little my sorority but that's coming up like within the next like week or so we don't know like who our people are who our littles are for our sorority yet we're still going on dates that ends this upcoming week fusion we are doing big little and i'm getting a little guys i already know who my little is isn't that crazy so for fusion we've already done like a lot of big little little date things that we do and like how we kind of go about that process so that's already done i already know who my little is i absolutely love her i adore her i cannot wait for the reveal the dancing has been so much fun um and i have been choreographing i'm so excited i'm hitting in like a piece in our concert like our showcase at the end of the year this year so that's been really fun and cool to kind of like navigate through that whole process of creating a dance get that experience of being a dance and working with dancers and like different people and like how can you put everything together and like make it one thing like, so it's been really fun having that experience and kind of seeing how to like put everything together like working through formations and like picking a song and like how things look visually so i'm super excited and i'm hopeful that i get to do another dance next year as well because this has been just such a fun process so far other than that fusion has been going great dance has been going great but oh my internship so i don't know if i've mentioned this on my channel yet but i am an intern for a company called fizz and fizz is a debit card that helps um college students build credit i am an intern and i'm one of the content creators so there's five of us and we create content for the team and they post them on the social channels so it's been really really fun like making content so we have different content pillars so we do like days in our lives and like campus tours and really fun things like that i have been enjoying it it has been a lot the last couple of weeks trying to balance everything and i did get sick at one point which was so like annoying which I, like pushed back a lot of things and i lost my voice and it was this whole thing like i was still able to get everything done but yeah, have you guys ever noticed like a lot of my content if you go on their page it's a lot of like the same content that i post here um just obviously a little bit more related to their brand and like their brand voice and everything so like look at that but if you're ever like looking by and you're like oh wait i've seen this video on your channel before and it's over there too yeah i kind of use some of the same content because most of it is like similar to what i would post on my page so yeah definitely go check that out i will leave that link down below and i will try to remember to like kind of plug that in a couple times as i am working with them for the whole semester so much fun and i've learned a lot working for a brand i've obviously worked with other brands before doing like different content things but it's just like a big deal you know what i mean like this is no game this is not a joke i get paid for this so like i really have to like discipline and focus on it and make sure that it's looking good why is this powder not working peel off hold while Aaliyah tries to figure this out that's kind of embarrassing because i've used the setting powder for so long now and you would think i would know like actually how to use it and like open like a new pack of it but i don't apparently so i don't know what's been going on with my face i don't want to cake up too much because my face is pretty clear right now going back to i have no clue what i was just talking about but I do want to talk about my skin a little bit because it has changed so much this acne medication that i've been on and i'm not sure exactly what it is it is topical but it's really 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 eating right now <laughs> but like i was saying the big little i have like my themes and i'm super excited the thing we picked for my sorority is so cute and i cannot wait it's different like like that not just doing like a basic like t-shirt with like a little cute little saying on it or whatever which that was one of my ideas but I'm glad that we kind of went for something like different and like bold not bold but like it's gonna give bold when you guys see it because no one else is probably gonna do it yeah but it's okay because we need to cake up now because get through photos i'm about to head to here i get ready what time is it actually ah, it's see it's 403 i need to be ready by five so i can like play around fix my dress yada yada but see this is why i like to get ready i started getting ready from like 3 30 even though i need
gonna be ready for pod because I already know myself. I just have to fluff my hair. Best thing I think I've learned from being at college is I've just learned so much about myself and like what I need. Like I need time, y'all. Like when it comes to getting ready for something or prepping, like in the morning, like I just need time. I, I literally can't just get up and go. Said I will get literally mad later on and be like, why was I not prepared? Why did I forget this? Like it's just so much better for my mental sanity if I get ready early, which is something that my mom always did. But I felt like, ugh, like why is she doing that? Like that's so unnecessary. But now I finally understand what she was talking about because nothing about like rushing and then like panicking basically. Sorry if I look like a Casper the ghost. Ask me when I tell you I have to kind of look like this right now so that this makeup stays on all night because we're taking pictures at 5:30 and day party doesn't start until 8 and then it goes from 8 to 10. So I need I need to be caked up unfortunately until that happens because I need to have this makeup stay on and not be greasy. Let me do my blushes up. I'm gonna do my blush next, I think. Do been loving a good blush lately. Favorite stuff, well, besides lips, my favorite, actually besides mascara. I don't know, one of my favorite steps is bronzer for sure. I know I can't go out the, outside the house without bronzer because it really just like color back to the skin. This is why my headband looks like this, which is really bad. I'm gonna either wash it or get a new one. I think for my eyes, I'm going to go in a smaller brush, like a fluffy brush, just go like in the crease. I'm gonna take my bronzer, make it a little bit more precise because normally I just take that like bronzer brush and just swipe her across my eye. So let me see, I'm gonna put like a little, like this, color on my lid a little bit here because if my eyeshadow ever looks bad just ignore it i really don't ever do eyeshadow it's more like a special occasion or something like simple like this where it's just like two colors or a little bit of shimmer i don't really do eyeshadow anymore but I do need to do my eyeliner though i have been doing brown eyeliner religiously now and i think that's just like what makes my eyes pop the most because i've tried like black eyeliner for oh my god over covid do you guys remember that if you've been here for that long covid i literally would do like black eyeliner which was so bad now that i'm looking back and it'd be like really thin and oh or like sometimes it'd be really thick like i could never master how thin or thick it should have been because i shouldn't have been doing black eyeliner to begin with this is so pretty yeah i remember that and like now i just do brown i use this color pop palette the california love the og palette that everybody had back in the day which they probably still have because when do you get rid of eyeshadow palette just take the brown in here and just do a cute little wing follow my eye shape so i'm just gonna do that but i feel like this makes my eyes pop a lot more why does it look like that the good thing about eyeshadow is if you do mess it up you can just like take a little concealer brush like what i just use for my eyebrows if i can find it and go over and clean it up to clean her up i just did my mascara and like most of my eyes off camera but guys this is the og lip liner i was talking about this is needed me by nyx and i thought i couldn't find it for so long anyways this is like the og lip i don't even remember like how old i was when i first got this this lip liner but it eats y'all eats like i would die for this little combo like perfect color we're doing charlotte tilbury which honestly i don't even really need it because that lip liner is just bomb and then it's like a fenty dupe i swear the filler gloss by maybelline super pretty i think moon is like the dupe to the fenty glow one but i like this one because it's super pinky and the one thing about that lip liner is she's gonna stay on your lip all day all night now it's time to like fluff out the hair really quickly so i'm gonna go over there and do it with the blow dryer and then we are gonna go ahead and get this dress on and then I'm gonna head out. I'll show you guys like the final look right before I leave. But <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my little chit chat. I'm gonna fluff out this hair now that it's a little bit more dry. It's a little crunchy as you guys can hear. It's good. You want a good cast, but it's a little wet up here. So we're gonna dry, fluff, and then get our life together. Hey guys, so this is kind of like the final look. I needed my dress to be tied better, but no one's home right now. So this is what we have to work with. I'm gonna grab my sneakers. I think I'm gonna do Air Forces for this one. And I'm just gonna bring socks. Like I'm just gonna bring it in a separate bag and leave it at one of my friend's house. I need to like redo this whole entire thing, but you guys can get the gist of it. And let me show you my shoes really quickly. I said everything, this whole outfit is from Sheen. The shoes, the full fit, we have the shoes, super cute. I'm rushing right now, but I will see you guys so soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for photos and pics and everything. But yeah, love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. So until then, bye. Mwah.